I got quiet on that one. Amen. Yeah. Listen. Listen, I know y'all hot out there, but we just praise it. Amen. 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 We pray. Listen, the Bible tells us, the Bible tells us that Daniel, that the, the, the Hebrew boys were about to be placed in the fiery furnace. And before they were placed in the fiery furnace, we understand that Daniel, I mean the Hebrew boys went on to say that our God is able to deliver us out of what? The fiery furnace. And so what we have to understand is that they said, listen, and even if he doesn't, yes, God. I'll tell somebody I'm still going to serve God. Huh? Yes, God. Even if he doesn't, I'm still going to serve God. And so we have to come to the point in our life. And I want to tell about five people here this morning that God says, I'm going to deliver you out of the stuff that you're going through. No matter how hot it gets in your life, no matter how bad it gets in your life, no matter how rough the situation.
situation gets, he said, you got to hold on to what you believe in. Just tell somebody, hold on. Hold on. Hold on, hold, hold on to what you believe hold in. Hold on to what he, you believe You, you got to learn how to be like the Hebrew boys that say, God is well able. Yeah. What, what that means is he's not, may, he maybe won't be able. He might not just possibly be able, but he's well able to help you out of every trial, every storm, and every situation. But I want you to understand something that the scripture said, and we always miss it. The scripture says that he's well able to deliver us out of the fiery furnace. Yes. Don't miss that one right there. It didn't say that they didn't go through anything. Oh, come on, somebody. It didn't say that they didn't have to go through anything, but the Bible says he'll deliver us out of the fiery furnace. Amen. Sometimes you might have to go through the fiery furnace in your life in order to get where you're going. Who am I talking to this Hallelujah. morning? Sometimes you might have to go through the fiery furnace to get the riches that God has been telling you you're going to get. Sometimes you might have to go through the fiery furnace in order to get to the other side. But listen, when you get to the fiery furnace, don't bag up because it looks rough. Who am I talking to this morning? Amen. Don't bag up because it looks hot in the fiery furnace. Yes. When the fiery furnace looks hot, that's when you're supposed to praise even more. Hallelujah. Am I right about it, somebody? You, when the furnace seems like, when it seems like you're going through all kind of stuff in your life, that's when you're supposed to say, God, guess what? I'm going to praise you in yes. spite of. Yes. Do I have anybody that's going to praise God in spite of this Hallelujah. morning? In spite of your bills? In spite of people, in yes, spite of God. what's going on in your life, Hallelujah. in spite of who comes and goes. Who am I talking to yes, this morning? God. I learned Hallelujah. how to praise God, and you got to have an in spite of praise. Yes, God. Amen. Hallelujah. In spite of praise says, it doesn't matter how hard it gets, I'm going to praise Him anyway. And in spite of praise, and it doesn't matter how, how, how much you come against me, I'm going to praise him anyway. Yes, God. And, and in spite of praise, as you can find me from my job today, I'm going to go right in the stall and dance and praise God because I've been looking to do something new. Who am I talking to this morning? Come on now. And he says, he says, when they got to the fiery furnace, the king looked in the fiery furnace. He said, did we put three bound in the furnace let me tell somebody something sometimes when you go through your trials you might appear to be bound and God says don't let what's binding you keep you in the same position Amen. did you get that one right there yes, God. don't let what's binding you keep you in the same position as the Hebrew boys were in the fiery furnace and the king looked in, the king said, listen, I see a fourth person in the furnace yeah. with them. And I'm just here to tell you, I, 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 I don't have to pump you up to ask you to shout or praise God, but I just want about five of y'all to know something yeah. this morning. God says, if you trust me in the midst of your fiery furnace, he says, I'll walk around the flames with you. Who am I talking to this morning? He said, you trust me in your fiery furnace, I'll be in the flames and I'll be in the storm that you face in life. All you have to do is just depend on me. Yes. Hallelujah. The Bible says as they got through the fiery furnace, that as the king brought them out, yes. he began to look at their clothes. Yes. And the Bible says that their clothes were uncharred. Yes. And they didn't even smell like no, no. they had been in the furnace. Yes. I want to speak to somebody's life this morning. Okay. Just because you've been going through these last few weeks. God says over the next few days. I'm going to allow you to come out of this thing. And folk won't even begin to smell that you've been through some stuff. You're going to look better than you looked before you went into the thing. Oh, come on, somebody. Your money is going to be better than it was before you went in, before you became broke. Who am I talking to? Your health is going to be better than it was before the doctor gave you that report. Listen, God's going to give you some friends better than the friends that left your life. Who? Hallelujah. And he says, once you come out, you ain't going to even be able to recognize that you've been through something. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. With that on your mind, I want you to begin to get on your mind what you want from God. Come on, what you want? I, I know the musicians are not here, but we're gonna we can still worship and praise God. Amen, somebody. And begin to get on your mind what you're looking for from God. 
and begin to trust God for it right now. Amen. Folks at home, I want you to begin to get God on your mind and the things you want from God on your mind right now and begin to trust God. He says, even in the midst of your furnace, he said, I can put out the fire. Amen. <clears throat> How do I put out the fire? By bringing you out Amen. of what you're in. Yes, God. I need to just tell about three or four people. I'm going to whisper it to you. God says, I'm about to bring you out of Thank you, Lord. what folk tried to put you in. Yes, God. Did you get that one right Amen. there? Come on, Lord. What people tried to put you in. He said, I'm sure going to bring you out of it. Anybody believe God this morning? Hallelujah. If we could just give him a worship and a praise, if we could just begin to magnify him. I, I, I feel the need to. I want you to get your cell phones out and let's go. I want to call somebody. Come on, somebody, get your cell phones out. I want the people at home to experience. I want folks that, that you didn't tell to tune in to the broadcast to experience this. Come on, come on, come on. Let's begin to call somebody so we can pray for them. Because I'm telling you what, we're in a season of coming out. Amen. Who believes me this morning? Hallelujah. We are in a season of coming out. As a matter of fact, tell somebody, I'm not coming out. I've already came out. Who believes that this morning? I'm not coming out. I've already came out. And it's not the matter of God delivering me. But you need to learn how to walk in the deliverance that God has already put in your life. Amen. When you get that person on the phone, let me know. Hold up your phone. Let me know you got them on the phone. Because we're going to begin to, to, to pray with them and believe God for them this morning. Amen? Amen. Amen. And we thank God for what he's doing in this atmosphere. It's a great day. And I trust God for what he's doing in your life on today. It's all I guess. I want you to know something. It's not by coincidence that you're here. But God is ready to impart into you something that he's been looking to put in your life for quite some time. Amen. Listen, as you got your phones in the air, I'm going to begin to pray for those that are on the phone. And I want those in the sanctuary to begin to agree with me as I pray for those that are on the phone. Yes, God. Dear God, we thank you in the name of Jesus. For those people that are on the phone. We believe God for your mercy in their lives. Yes. We trust you God for your grace upon their lives. And God in the name of Jesus Lord we thank you God for healing in their bodies. God we, we just trust you God this morning and believe that you can heal them even where they are God. We know God without a doubt that you are a fixer God. And I pray, God, that everyone that's on the phone, God, the troubles that they've been going through, the stress that they've been going through, that you begin to turn things around for them. And I thank you, God, that you have healing in your wings this morning. God, you can overcome any trial in every situation, Lord. You can fix hearts, God, and mend depression in the name of Jesus. You can turn around unforgiveness, God, in hearts, I believe it, this morning. God, you can provide finances where finances are needed. And so we pray and agree, God, that those that are represented on the phones today, God, we thank you, God, and we come in agreements with them with the things that they're looking for from you. And we ask, God, that you give them a revelation as soon as, as, soon as today, God. And we believe for a quick work in you. We love you, Lord. And we bless you, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Someone give God praise. Amen. Amen. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I'm believing for you as well. I'm believing for you as well. I'm believing for you as well. Amen. I'm believing for you as well. Hallelujah. Are we ready for the word? Yes. Are we ready for the word? Yes. Hallelujah. I believe we've had a great time this morning. Yes. And I believe that God is not done. And that he's about to continue to bless your life. And if you're a guest in this place, I'm telling you something. You showed up here to get what God has been trying to give you. Amen. Even for the last three weeks. Amen. Amen. I'm going to bring my wife to the stage. To take We're going to give God a shout of praise. Hallelujah. 
because the word is coming. And we want to just stand to our feet and give God reverence for what he's about to pour down. For what he's about to pour in. And what he's about to overflow of. And the wealth of it. And how it's going to expand and change our lives. So that we can truly understand and take advantage of the prosperity that God is about to overflow us. The prosperity of a new mind. I want a prosperous mind on this morning. Come on and play. Because we're going to set an atmosphere. That's going to say we are coming for the word of God. And we will not allow anything to affect us. Come on, I want a high praise. I want to shout. I want to sanctify. Glorious. Hallelujah. Because I know I come. I need more. I need I need more. I need a shout of high. I need more. I need more. I need you to I need to hear what you want. I need to hear what you need. I need to hear what you believe that God is about to pour in your life. I need a sound that only heaven understands. I need a sound that only heaven can understand and recognize. Come on now. I need a hallelujah. I need a rumble. Where are my musicians? This is an integral part of the ceremony. This There's a ceremony, the Lord said, going on. There's a birthing and a dying happening in the atmosphere. And there is a metamorphosis going on. And the sound has got to sound like a busting out, a breaking through, a turn, a change. We can't move until the sound is where it needs to be. We can't move until I hear heaven is ready to come and bombard. The anointing is ready to cloak in the place. Because I truly believe there's a word. We can't go into the word any other way. But I hear the sound of heaven. I need a prophetic sound. I need a sound I've never heard. Because I'm asking for something I've never gotten before. I need a sound that I can't explain. Because I need an unexplainable blessing. I need a sound that sounds strange. Because I need a strange way on today. I need to confound the enemy on this morning. So I need a sound that says that I am an overcomer. That I am victorious. I need a sound that says no matter who left their post, I'm not leaving my post because my blessing is about to hit the atmosphere. And I want to be in the position that God has called me in. I am not, I shall never be the same on this morning. So I can't move, I can't hear until I know that the heavens have entered the room until the angels have mounted up until the wings of an eagle has begin to expand. I need a shift. And then, when the shift comes, I'll be ready for the word. Y'all gotta come on. You gotta come on. I need you to hear what heaven is trying to say. See, when we get into the word, we should already be hearing what heaven is trying to say. The sound that I'm looking for is the sound of an opening. I'm looking for the opening. I'm looking for an opening. I'm looking for God to give us a preview of what he's about to pour. So when he starts saying that thing, when he starts ministering that thing, we don't have to worry about it. We can just receive it. I'm looking for a receiving atmosphere on this morning. Now we've come to celebrate what God has done in our apostles' life on this morning. We come to celebrate through hell and high water that nothing can stop what God has placed on the inside. That nothing, nobody, no situation, nothing can stop the move of God. And we want to celebrate 
not him but the Lord. We want to celebrate that God, if you did it for him, God, if you did it for him, I know you'll do it for me. God, it no matter how much he tried to give up, but you kept pushing him. You kept moving him forward. So if he did it for him, he'll do it for you. Even in your give up season, I hear the Lord saying, there's a lot of people giving up, but God said, not this time. I'm pushing you. Because the Bible records it. In his season, you shall reap a harvest. And I'm telling you, this is the season of the Lord. 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 Begin to get what you have. Don't even worry about them. Because they ain't made it in where we're going yet. Don't even wait on the person next to you. Because they haven't made it in where we're going yet. So we got to move forward. Because the reign of the Lord is in the room. We give honor and praise for the word that's coming forth through our very own. Our sister pastor, Pastor Richard Simmons. And we just give God all the glory and all the praise for the prophetic move, for the prophetic power, for the anointing, for our breakfast move, for our breakfast world, for our celebratory room in the spirit realm. I hear a sound, the sound of heaven. I hear man being removed, and I hear the rumbling, the overflow of the spirit that when he opens his mouth, fire. Say fire, say fire, say fire, fire from heaven. Clap your hands for Jesus. Clap your hands. Clap your hands for Jesus. Let's give the praise in the place. God has been too good up in here. Come on. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, we give God praise. I used to be one of those that would give up. Oh Lord, but now I don't give up anymore. I give in to the will of God. Come on, somebody. We give God praise up in here. I'm honored to be before you. I'm honored to preach the word on this special occasion. Our apostle didn't know about this. His wife asked me, first lady, prophetess, Tanya asked me to bring the word for my apostle and I felt honored and I thank God that he's using me at this time Amen. but I have a personal relationship with my apostle and this is pastor appreciation on today Amen. we appreciate our apostle our senior pastor for 16 years of ministry come on y'all not too many people spend 16 years doing anything, let alone ministry. Come on, now we can praise God for that. Because like his wife said, through hell or high water, he kept preaching the word. When folks came against him, he kept preaching the word. When folks left, he kept preaching the word. When folks kept talking about him, he kept preaching the word. When folks thought they could hurt him, he kept preaching the word. When they were trying to tear down, he started to build. When they took away, he continued to buy. Come on, somebody. Those who are members of God's nation, we recognize. We know that God is able. We've seen the move of God. We've seen him do the impossible. Come on, somebody. Thank you, God. And the way we can tell we have a great leader is looking at his followers. Yes, God. Come on. Thank you, Father. Looking at his followers. It's a lot of folks that say I go to such and such church. Uh-huh. But they don't act like nothing. Come on now. They don't act like a child of God. Yeah. I haven't seen a change in their life. Yeah. But I know personally what happens being a part of this ministry. Yeah. Come on, somebody. I know personally. When I came here about 16 months ago, drunk and high. Come on, Come on somebody. Yes, drunk and high. Yes, he did. Sitting in the back. 
yes, just come and wanted to just get a word. Yes. And he said, wait a minute, young man. Yes. I see something on the inside of you. Yeah. He looked past my drunkenness and hotness. Yeah. And he saw the call on my life yeah. to preach the gospel. Yeah. And he told me, brother, you don't sit back there. You come sit up here. He didn't say, wait till you stop drinking. He didn't say, wait till you stop smoking. He said, no, God called you before you was in your mother's womb. So you come on up here right now. And you walk in your calling. And you let your calling deliver you. Come on, somebody. Hey, I'm the cleanest I've ever been in all my life. Come on, somebody. Mind, body, and soul. The cleanest I've ever been. Because he gave me a chance. He could have looked down on me. And said, boy, you ain't nothing. But when I fail, because it's something when you can keep it real with your apostle. When you can tell him the truth when you're going through something. You ain't got to walk around here carrying no facade. Acting like you holier than that. When you're struggling, talk to the man or woman of God. If they're a true man or woman of God, they're going to encourage you. They're going to lift you up. They're going to pray for you. But when I fail, I made a mistake. He said, Rick, do we need to get you your own church? I said, what? Didn't you hear what I just told you I did? He said, man, we need to get you in God more so you don't continue to do those things. Come on, somebody. He said, maybe we need to get you a church where you can be preaching every week to keep you away from them situations and circumstances. That touched my heart. That touched my soul. That helped me to keep on keeping on. When I wanted to give up, that was my give up moment. But he said, come on, brother, keep on keeping on. Him and his wife, my wife, my mother, the minister, the church, encouraged. But the oil flows from the head down. So we have an anointed man of God. A man chosen by God. And I give God praise for him. Because we can have a wolf in sheep clothing up in here. Come on, somebody. A lot of churches, they got a real deal, preacher. A lot of churches, they beg and got 10 to 20 tithing periods. They trying to get their money on. They're not thinking about saving souls. But this is pastor appreciation. I want you to know personally, I appreciate you. Thank you, Jesus. And I have never been the same. Yes, God. I mean, I look at how God moved in the place. Yes, God. Not only with me, I look at my mother smiling more than ever before. She been on fire for God. Come on, somebody. Amen. Yes. I look at Wigfall. Changed her life. Yes. Since she changed her life, her son changed his life. He got a job now. Yes. Come on, somebody. Yes. The power of God. Yes. Moving in the place. I see that third row back there that I used to come every now and again. Monique, Rich, the, 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 the triplets. They don't miss a service now. Come on, somebody. You know God, now he's recording right now. He's working as a ministry. Glory to God. Faithfully. And now Monique called me yesterday and said, Rick, I got somebody I want you to pick up. Now she evangelizing. Come on, somebody. On the go right behind her. Those three that came. Let's give God some praise. And because my life changed, those around me got affected. My sister-in-law sitting back there over the children's ministry. She been on fire for God. She been encouraging me. Come on, somebody. Coming to church every service. On Friday, so leaving from work to get in with these kids. Yes. And we thank God for her new job. Come on, let's give God some praise. Yes. Yes, God. We got those four back there. Yes. Yes. Dewan, Devon, yes. Marzana, yes. Allison, yes. who don't miss a service. Yes. Kids came to join last week. Yes. Come on, somebody. Let those other two joined a few weeks before. Yes. We got to give God some praise. Yes. We moving in the place. You see what happens when you connect it to a ministry that's connected. Oh, come on, you didn't hear me. When you connect it to a ministry that's connected to the Holy Spirit, to the power of God that believes in the anointing, that believes in the power, that believes in freedom. No bondage. There ain't gonna be no poor among us. Come on, he preached there ain't gonna be no poor among us. And I see poor folk leaving because they don't want to believe for wealth. Come on, somebody. See, I'm 
walking out the door because they can't take the pressure of the anointing. They don't understand. They mind can't fathom being wealthy. Supernatural wealth. Come on, somebody. He's trying to take us way above the eons and the, the eons. Different atmospheres. Glory to glory. Faith to faith. If you used to go in the church sitting around ain't doing nothing. He ain't going to let you not do nothing up in here. Even he made me he used to get on my nerves. Rick, do this. Rick, do that. I'm like, man, you doing too much. Come on, hey, I can keep it real. I thought he had OCD. Come on. But now I drive the church van. I teach Sunday school. Come on, somebody. I'm on the praise team. When I didn't come here, wanting to do nothing. But through the power of God, he changed my life, not me. Through that brother right there. Amen. I asked him, what can I do? He said, man, you're doing too much. I said, ain't never too much to do for the kingdom. Amen. We got work to do up in here, y'all. We like Nehemiah, we building. We building with a sword in one hand and a tool in the other. And we ain't stopping. So don't get connected if you want to. Because those connected, we look at Pastor Elder Mike over there. And his wife, been touched by God. They came because their grandson came for a whole nother reason. Come on now, he got a church van back. I pick him up. Working in the ministry for the, he been on fire. Come on somebody. God did bless him with job. Come on y'all. Great kids and kids in the place. The power of God. Amen. Visitors, family. Yes. God is real. Yes. And he's moving up in here. Yes. I'm, I'm a witness. Yes. Two weeks ago, I'm going, I couldn't see my way out. Woo. I started to get overwhelmed. You're going to have rough moments, y'all. Yes, but the point is, don't stop moving. Yes. Come on now. God ain't never said it was going to be easy. Yes. He preached about the barriers. He didn't say, when you get to the barrier, stop. He said, when you see the barrier, go faster. Yeah. Don't quit. When you see that mountain, get some momentum and try to run up that thing. Yeah. Come on, somebody. If God don't move, it, say, give me the strength to climb. Yeah. And I was down and out. I called him. I was trying to call the wife, his wife. Yeah. I didn't want to hear what she had to say because it wasn't what I wanted to hear. Come on, y'all. Yeah. I can keep it real, y'all. All right. You don't always want to hear what God got to say. Yes. It don't agree with your flesh. Uh-huh. Come on, y'all. You get upset sometimes, don't we? Yeah. Huh? We get upset. Yeah. I did. But because I kept moving and because they kept it real, that very next day I was blessed. Come on, somebody. I didn't have a client. And I got 15 new clients in two weeks. Come on, somebody. The prophet, she said, Rick, you gonna be, you just resting. God got work for you. Just be cool. Yeah. Relax. Enjoy this vacation. I'm like, well, I want to work. I want to do something. Now I'm working so much, I'm tired in the mud right now. I wish I would have relaxed. And she said, Rick, you gonna get busy. Working every day, six days a week. Glory to God. Yeah. Come on, somebody. So just to say all that is to say when you got a true man of God, yes. you should have some members that with a testimony. Yes. You should have somebody in the church to say, look what God can do in my life. Yes. And I may have missed a few, yes. forgive me, but God is moving up in here. Yes. And see, if our leader was not in line, Come on. none of this way. We got sweet mother Sheila, sweet mother Andy. And yes. then we got cuss, Kane, yes. he back again in action. Come on, somebody. Yes. He was touched by the word the other day. I heard he just called and said, we're in his church. And then he come, and he ain't going to stop coming. Come on. Yeah, amen. I just give God praise. Because yeah. he changed me. Yes. He could have left me gone somewhere. Yes. But he brought me in this place come through on. a business transaction. Yeah. A business, accounting, and real estate. Yeah. And then we come ministering together. Yes. yes. Brought me into the ministry. I ain't missed a day yet. In 16 months. Glory to God. Amen. 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 Pastor appreciation. That's when we appreciate our pastor. And we appreciate our pastor in appreciating God. Who sent 
our pastor, our shepherd, our apostle, our overseer. Being a pastor is a spiritual overseer. They're in control of your spirit, your spiritual growth, your spiritual well-being. This is not an easy task. Come on now. Everybody want to jump up and be preachers because of a few dollars here and there. They don't really understand what it takes to be a real man or woman of God. Amen. To have people disagree with you. Ah, come on. Who come against you. Just when you're trying to help and show love, ah. they stab you in the back at the same time. Yes, God. People you go above and beyond for. Amen. You travel the ends of the earth Amen. in Jesus' name. Yes. But then they turn their back, act like you did something wrong. Yes. Yes. That's a part of being a pastor. Yes. Come on. Amen. God gave him the capacity to deal with these things. Come on, yes. that's it. The capacity. He's able because of what's inside of him. Yes. What seems impossible for man is possible with God. Yes. So he can't worry about our feelings. Amen. Come on now. He can't worry about what we say or think. We ain't the apostle. We ain't the senior pastor. He is. Amen. Come on, y'all. Amen. We so busy wanting to run church, we don't never want to listen and hear the word of God. Come on now. Especially in smaller churches. Everybody want to have they say so. That was me. I can keep it real. I had to apologize. I sent the text to all the I'm sorry. I was wrong. I shouldn't have said nothing. I should have just prayed more. I should have just had your back. Come on, now we all gonna make mistakes. So even I make mistakes, yeah. but we gotta pray for one another. That's what we gotta yes, do. God. We ain't gotta give our two city. He got a thousand Man. things coming again. Let me just go over here and pray. Yes. Lord, help him. Help me yes. to be a better uh, uh, armor bearer for him. Yes, to be a better assistant pastor to watch his back. Yes, to help put forth this vision, whatever it may be. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Amen. Gotta pray. Yes. Past our overseer appreciation is to recognize the full worth of. Come on now. She preached about it. Being thankful. You can't be thankful unless you appreciate. Yes. yes. How can we be thankful for something we don't even know what it's worth? Yes. How can you say thank you, Lord, if you don't even understand what he does for you? Yes. Come on now. Preach. He died on the cross. We act like that ain't nothing. Yes. Once we understand that, then we can say, thank you, Jesus. Yes. You saved my soul. Yes. I was hell bound, and you stepped and took my place, God. Now all things are possible through you. We don't recognize. Come on now. We don't recognize the worth of that. We still walking around in bondage. Come on now. Like we can't do nothing and we Come serve on. the I am that I am. Yes, God. Come on, somebody. Yes, God. We complain and we down and out. Huh. Don't even understand the power that's on the inside of us yes. because of Jesus Christ. Yes. We being moved by every form of doctrine. Come on. We let sin so easily beset us. Yes. Like we don't serve nobody. Yes. Come on now. Making Christians look bad. Yes, God. Causing folk to blaspheme against the name of Jesus. Yes. Because of us. Yes, God. Not wanting to be a part of the, the ministry. Working. Not to be seen. Just to work for God. Yes. We want to be on T on Front Street. He said, Rick, I got to get you to preach. I said, I don't care about preaching. You preach. You giving us the word of God. Yes. I get out here and go get him to come. I pick him up. I evangelize. You make them, I rake them. Amen. Hallelujah. I make them, he rake them. We know what I mean. Amen. You know what I mean. Y'all spades players, we know. It don't matter. I don't have to be seen. Amen. I want to see God glorified. Yes. I want more folks to come with us. Because we going somewhere, y'all. Amen. We on the move. Eyes I've not seen. No ears I've heard. No entered into the heart of man. Come on, that's real, y'all. Yeah. We can't walk around here with poverty mentalities. Yeah. The Bible says, eyes have not seen. Come on. Ears. He just talked about your mind can't even fathom what God got in store for you. Yeah. You so busy looking at this little bitty problem. God, like, man, you can't get over this. How am I going to take you to this? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. That little bill you talking about? That mortgage? That house? With, within my house? Has many mansions. Come, did you? In his house, yeah. there's many mansions. Right. Yeah. So you talking about a little house? 
when the Bible said, I never seen a righteous forsaken nor a seed begging bread. Yeah. Man, if I would spend more time just being righteous, come on now, then I won't have to worry about begging bread. Yeah. Amen. And then I want to blame the man of God when stuff ain't going right in my life. Uh. <laughs> come on, somebody. Yeah. Yeah. We all been there, done that. Yeah. We want to lead a church like he ain't preaching the word. I'm like, what are you <laughs> listening to? <laughs> We got a, probably a thousand viewers now that can testify with. Oh, the word is going forth over there. Right. Amen. I'm telling you, the word of God. Yes. The word of God bro. And the Bible says the word will never return void. Yes. Yes. And I've gotten so many words off of this pulpit from him and his wife. And they have come to pass. Yes. I'm a witness. It would take this service and the next 10 services to tell you all the words that came to pass. Come on, y'all. Yes. But they come to pass. Yes, they do. We hear the words, but we don't apply the word. Yes. We don't even understand. First, we got to recognize what kind of man of God we got. Yes. Just like the children of Israel, if they would have recognized that Moses came to deliver them, they wouldn't have been complaining. Come on. Huh? Yes. If they would have known that that was a special delivery from God yes. to come deliver them out of their situation, but they complained all the way. Uh -huh. They didn't appreciate the man of God. And they didn't enter and he didn't get to enter too. Come on because now. they got on his nerves. Come on now. Nobody made it. Come on now. Except the, the second generation. Yes. But we got to understand, we can't be getting on his nerves all the time. <laughs> we got to get it together because as we grow, he grows and the ministry grows. And it's for the glory of God. Amen. Amen. That's right. If we can get that in our mind, it ain't about you. Amen. It ain't personal, it's business. <laughs> yeah. Jesus, I'm about my father's business. Yes, we take stuff so personal. Yeah. Oh, he didn't speak to me today. She didn't pray for me today. Man, they got all these members. Why don't you come pray for them? Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Taking it personal. Come on now. They didn't do this for me. They didn't give me no money. They didn't do this. They didn't do that. So what? Ask God. Amen. <laughs> Ask right. Jesus. That is right. Come on. Ask the 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 author and finisher of our faith. Yes. Ask the I am that I am who promised us all. He been talking about all this stuff. Yes. And it's like, man, we get this word week after week, and don't grow some of us. Come on. I Amen. mean, we getting the home cooking off Heaven's Kitchen. Yeah. I'm talking about steak and potatoes. Yeah. I'm talking about the real deal, holy field. Yeah. Stuff I ain't never heard before. Yeah. Up in here. Everybody should be wealthy. Come on under now. this anointing. Yes, God. I'm telling you, if you connected, you better expect wealth yes and i'm not talking about a dollar bill i'm talking about the ability to create it yeah. the ability in your mind to create it i was lazy i was sitting at the house because i couldn't see i didn't work i didn't do nothing god got me up out of my bed and said boy you better get out there and make some moves we don't even take the first step the bible say faith without works is dead being alone. Amen. We say we got all this faith, but we never want to step out and move. But I stepped out and moved. And again, I told you, I got 15 clients just by being at the office. Come on. Amen. I would have missed people knocking at my door if I wouldn't have went in the office. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. We miss our blessing not being at the right place at the right time. We want to stay at home on God on Sundays. We should be packed in this place. All the people whose lives he touched. But they ain't meant to be here. They ain't coming with us. All right now. <laughs> Come on, somebody. All right now. We need to just thank God that we made it today. Yes, God. Because everybody can't come. That's right. People who can't handle the pressure. Amen. <sighs> thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. God bless you. Thank you, God. But being appreciative, it's just showing our life. Yes. We should be willing to serve. He said, man, he said, if you serve God, Come he will on. provide for you. Yes. Uh -huh. If you serve God, 
Yes. The Bible said the chiefest of you will be servant of all. Come on. The one you get lifted up higher, serving more. Yes. Why don't we want to serve? Yes, God. I know people personally that don't want to join because they're gonna have to work. Oh, come on now. They just off oh, called, but I'm gonna sit back and do nothing. Come on, y'all. Yes. How you gonna be called and ain't doing nothing for God? Yes. I didn't see Elijah just sitting twinkling his fingers. Okay. He was killing 450 prophets. Hey, yes. He was holding the rain up. Yes. Come on, y'all. He was defeating enemies, making moves for God. Uh-huh. Appreciation. Yes. We need to recognize the value of what we have. Yes. Of what God has given us. Yes. We got to appreciate it. Yes, hallelujah. And take the whole thing. Don't try to take out, eat what you want to eat and spit out the rest. Come on. Eat it all. Yes. And let the word of God take control over you. Yes, God. Thank you, Father. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. The Bible says the word of God is quick and powerful. Yes. We don't have to sugarcoat stuff. Uh-huh. Yes. We don't have to preach the gospel of the green back. Come on. Yes. Come on now. We don't got to tickle nobody's ears up in here. Amen. If you get offended, you need to praise God for the offense. Yes. I praise God that I was offended because that caused me to change yes. my way of thinking because yes. my way of thinking was wrong. Yes, I was thinking the same way for years and years uh -huh. and God had to break me down for my thinking to change. Yes. That's what she talked about. Hallelujah. Being emptied out in the breakthrough. Yes. Being emptied of all that mess you've accumulated over the years. Come on now. See, we be trying to take baggage with us and garbage Come to on. the promise. Yes. Amen. Mess to the blessing. Yes. Huh. Huh? Friends, we can't leave nobody behind okay. and then nobody go. Yes. Amen. The Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. Yes. Blessed be the name of the Lord. That's right. It's his will. He chooses who he chooses. Yes. And if folks don't want to receive, that's on them. Yeah. We can't hold, we can't stop forward progress waiting on folks all the time. Yeah. I'm sorry. They didn't stop for me. They said, Rick, we moving. You better catch up. <laughs> she said, come on, Rick. Come on. I'm like, God, I felt bad. I'm like, man, they moving. I see stuff happening. Here I am stuck in the mud. But I came on. Amen. Come on, y'all see me here today. I came on. I ran and caught up. Come on, catch up. Amen. <laughs> but it says, it's quick. The word of God. See, the word that we getting up here is quick. Yes. It's alive. Yes. It's living word of yes. God. The word. Jesus was a word. Come on. Made flesh. Yes. The word was in the beginning, right? Yes. The word is God. And it says quick, it brings life to dead situations. Yes. Come on, y'all. It's painful when stuff get resurrected. Yes. Oh my God, yes. Come on, y'all. Uh-huh. It's painful yes. when you gotta get surgery. Yes. And they gotta pull out something that's been there. Oh, a mask yeah. that's that's uh, cancerous and destroying your whole body. You gotta get that thing out. It ain't easy. Yes. But the Bible says the word of God is, is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. Yes. yes. Oh, man, that sounds like the ultimate surgeon to me. Yes. That know right where to go, right what to get. Don't hit no miss otter, don't hit no arteries. To get right in that spot that's the, that's making you not who you are. Yes, That's God. holding you back. That's what the word of God does. So you're not going to always be sitting out there all thanking Jesus all the time. Sometimes I sit there like, ooch, ouch, ooch, ow, ooch. <laughs> I did that. I should be doing this. She said, preach another one. What's your response time? <laughs> For when you go through something, you give God praise. Yes. And see, I have to say, man, my response time was too long. Come on now. I got hit with some bad news and I wallowed in that bad news for a minute. Then I said, oh, wait a minute. I got God. That took too long. When we get that official, praise the Lord. When the enemy try to come against you, glory to God. See, the thing about it is we always want to be in control. Yes. We do not want to relinquish control. Yes. That's it. That's our carnal mind. Yes. Enmity against God. Yes. Hostile. Yes. yes. It don't want to change. Huh. Yes. It don't want to receive this great word. Yes. It said, man, I'm almost out the door. I got to do something to keep, come on, keep them in bondage. Yes. 
Come on now. Hostile. Yes. So it's going to try to make you think wrong. But you got to believe the word of God and all the pieces in it yes. and let it do his work in you. Yes. And it may take time. Yes. And it does hurt. Yes. Oh, it hurts sometimes, y'all. Yes. Oh, but it's so worth it when you. Oh, my God. When you swing, you hang on in there. Oh, yes. oh, when you hang on in there, when yes. you don't give up. When you trust in the Lord, when you say, when I'm weak, then he's strong. Yes. Oh, my God, when you can glorify him in your infirmity, yes. when in the midst of your struggle, when you can say, thank you, Jesus, when you ain't got nothing in your bank. Yes. But God expected to have 100 grand at the end of last year to end up with $100. I was sick. Come on now. It was a little bit more than 100 But it was a little bit compared to what I expected. <laughs> yes. But God had to break me from trusting in money. Amen. Yes, God. He had to remove all my leaning posts. Yes. The Bible says, lean not yes. to thine own understanding. Yes. Yes. Lean not. Yes. And we keep leaning to yes. all the things that we understand. Yes. But it says, lean not. So in order for us not to have nothing to lean, we got to remove everything yes. and get it out the way. Yes. Thank you, God. So we standing here in the middle of the ocean. Yes. Don't see which way to go. Yes. Just in the middle out there. You don't see no direction in the ocean. Yes. All you got is God. Yes. Ain't that the best position we could be in? Yes. Well, God. all you got is God. Yes. Well, you can't ask sister, brother, mother. When you can't ask nobody for help. Yes. Sometimes we expect church to come through all the time. Hmm? We say we give to church. Yes. Why they ain't coming through? They know I'm going through. Ooh, I'm telling the truth, y'all. Come on. But God put on my heart and said, you ain't going to take nothing from nobody. I'm going to give it to you this time. Hallelujah. I'm going to do it. You yes. ain't giving. it. Yeah, they can, but I'm not leading them to do nothing for you. Yes. Come Woo. On. Woo. Yes. Well, that was an alpha to them. And he came through. Amen. Because they're giving us the word so we can stand on our own two feet. Yes. Yes. Not to continue to be leaning on them all the time. Yes. Yeah, when I first came, I was talking to her all the time. So I'm getting words. So. But then you grow up a little bit, right? Yes. You don't stay on milk the whole time. Amen. We got to move on. So we got new folks coming in. We all got to get stronger so we can yes. go out here and get some more folks. Yes. Right. So we can all help and encourage and bring folk in. Yes. But if we so busy depending on them too, how we gonna get stronger? My wife showed me something about Dr. Miles Monroe talking about a, a good leader makes himself not needed. Yes. So, oh my God, when I read, I said, she showed me this and I never heard about the guy then he passed away a few weeks after that. But he said a good leader trains up the people underneath him to be effective like he is. Yes. 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 Come on, somebody. Yes. That's when they can take a vacation and I can take over service. Amen. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> because he gave me the opportunity. Amen. We got some churches with 15 ministers sitting in the pulpit, ain't doing nothing. Come Just on. sitting there getting their past the water. Come on and now. wiping and grabbing his coat. Come on now. Come on, y'all. If he go, who they ain't got nobody to preach the word. Come on. Because he not tripped. He wants the limelight. Come on, y'all. But we got a preacher of a pastor, apostle who say, man, everybody. We used to have services where everybody preached at one point. Eight come people on. in one service. He said, everybody gonna get some work in. Amen. And we did. Come on, y'all. Amen. Training us up to be leaders of our own. Yeah. An apostle establishes churches. Yeah. Yes. Come on. They build. They spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. They plant. Yes. And then they move on. But they got to make sure where they plant can sustain itself. Yes. So we can focus on that. Yes. And not worry about this. Yes, yes God. So we got to get it together. Yeah, man. Because we are all ministers of God. Yes. yes. We all have our circle. That we have to minister to. Yes. Amen. Appreciation. Yes. 
Let that word of God do what it needs to do. It said, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and joints and marrow, and it's discerner of all thoughts and the intents of the heart. So the word can thoroughly cleanse you is what that's saying. If we let it, it ain't going to just take over you without you opening up and surrendering. I mean, such great of, 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 of greatness of blessing we got and we don't even receive it. Folks don't even get it. And it's sad. When you know that God has sent a man of God into the midst yes, God. to deliver us out of bondage. Yes. Everybody that's come through this door was in some kind of bondage. Amen. You lie if you want to. Amen. He wouldn't have sent you here if you Amen. was not. Everybody came through this door was seeking something. Yes. Was was tired of going through yes. what they're going through. Yes. And God yes. said, let me give you some help. Yes. Let me give you the word. Yes. Unadulterated, undignified. Yes. Just the pure, raw word of God to help you out. Because you were under some other stuff that wasn't helping you. Yes. Come on now. Under a preacher or a pastor that didn't have the power. Yes. Because he didn't believe himself. Yes. Yes. Come on. God. Yes, God. That's why I say I know everybody who comes here is going to get a blessing if they receive. Because you came here for that. Yes. God brought you here to bless you. Yes. God delivered the children of Israel out of Egypt to bless them. Yes. To take them to their promise. Yes. Something that they did not work for, that they did not even deserve. Oh my God. Thank you, Jesus. But he heard their affliction. Mm. He saw their affliction, heard their cry, and sent help to come get them. Oh my God. God has yes. sent help to come get y'all today. Yes. Oh, God. Yes, God. Thank, you, God. Thank you, Jesus. He sent help. All help is on the way. Yes. Oh glory, oh glory to God. You've answered my prayers, yes. God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. You sent my deliverance. Because you know, when I came, I was praying for help. Oh, I was down and out. Yes. Church hurt. Yes. The works hurt. Yes. But we can't expect it just to be easy. Amen. Because the children of Israel, they came out of bondage. But they were been in bondage so long. God had to break that way of yes. thinking that they've been under for so long. Yes. He had to free their mind yes. from captivity. Because bondage is right here, y'all. In your mind, so is a man thinker. So is he. That's what we're talking about up in this place. Yes. That's why we ain't all millionaires, because we don't think it. We got them on the way, though. Amen. <laughs> Watch. Watch. That's right. Amen. We're going to be on TV. They ain't behind in the world that this little church created. So many millionaires in one year. Oh, hallelujah. Come on now. 100,000 there. Billion there. Whatever your faith level can help you obtain. Yes, God. But to get to that promise, they had to get to go through that will, to go through that Red Sea, right? Yes. They had to face situations that seemed impossible. Come on now. They had to look at them head on. They couldn't. Not open the letter and look at the bill. They had to look at the bill. Yes, sir. They had to answer the phone. Yes. Woo! They had to face that thing Come on. that they was afraid to face. Yes. <sighs> Thank you, God. They had to look at it out of eye. And God made them look at it because he had the enemy on the back. He made it where they could not even turn around and go back. God has made it for you all not to even be able to go back. He said, you coming all the way this time. You coming all the way this time. Ain't no turning back this time. You all the way. Yes, God. Thank you. 
Hallelujah. All the way. Yeah. We making it to the promise. Time Hallelujah. is running out. We ain't got time to keep going back and forth. Rick ain't had time to keep going in circle. This was me. <laughs> For years. Oh, God. For this and this. Yes. But God said no. It's time now. On oh, his time. Yeah. So I didn't say I delivered myself. I can't say I delivered me. Yeah. When God delivered me for the ultimate deliverance, I was high and drunk. Oh my God. I was at my lowest. Yeah. And that's when God said, okay, you've had enough, Rick. Let me come get you now. Yeah. You, you ready now, Rick. Yeah. You've been through enough now. Now you're ready. Now you're ready to go through the pressure. Now you're ready to go through the fire. Now you ain't going to turn back because you didn't bent down far enough. Yeah. But after we see God do that miracle, we got to keep going. Yes. We can't say, I used to think, okay, once I get over this, that's it. Huh. No, it's another. Yes. And another. Yes. And another. Yes. Come on, y'all. Yes. But what the enemy don't want you to realize is that God gives you strength to deal with yes. it all. Yes. Woo! Yes. We ain't got to do this stuff on our own. Amen. They didn't have to make a boat and cross the Red Sea. God said, okay, it's open. <laughs> and walk on through. Thank you, God. Yes. All we got to do is face it. Yes. We so busy turning yes. back. Yes. We so busy getting yes. afraid. They ain't moving, getting shell shocked. <laughs> instead of just walking. Yes. All right. Yes. Preach. Go ahead, Holy Ghost. Weapon. Walking. Yes. Yes. Weapon coming. Walking. Yes. Yes. Weapon there. Walking. Yes. Oh. On your walk. You may fall sometimes. Grace and mercy. Come on, get back up. Yes. Come on. Grace and mercy got you. Yes. Grace and mercy. The main thing we don't understand is that grace and mercy got yes. us covered. Yes. yes. We afraid to move because we afraid of failure. Yes. We have a fear to fail. Yes. But God told Joshua that I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. Yes. That everywhere you go is yours. Yes. But he had to believe the word of God. Because yes. he said that word needs to continually be in your mouth. Yes. You don't need to go to the left or to the right. Yes. In order to receive that blessing. Yes. We can't receive it on our own terms. Yes. We want to have our own terms. Yes. We want to keep a little bit of this, but we still want that. You got to give all that mess up. Yes, you do. All that mess. Flesh and blood cannot enter the kingdom of God. Spirit, we walk by faith and not by sight. Yes. Period. Yes. The only way you can serve God is in spirit and in truth. Yes. All spirit. Yes. Without Amen. faith, it's impossible to please God. Amen. You gotta believe. You gotta believe. This ain't gonna be what well, they say. This ain't that. <laughs> this ain't that when you thought you could see your way out. No, you gotta walk blindly. That's right. That's right. Come on. You don't know where you're going, but you gotta trust God. Yeah. Have he let you down before? Oh no. Even in your mess, did he let you down? Why we don't believe him when we doing our best? When he delivered us in our mess. Yes. I don't get that. I'm a witness. Come on now. I went hard when I wasn't in God. Come on. Yes. But then when I get to God, I'm nervous now. Because I don't know what. Because I ain't got this to depend. I ain't got that to depend on. But God unction me. He said, come forth. Yes. He made me do it. Thank you. Yes. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Jesus. Thank you. Look, I can't take credit for none of this, y'all. <laughs> this all Jesus. Oh my God, this is all Jesus. Yeah. I ain't did jack. I ain't did nothing. I ain't wake myself up. I ain't clothed myself. I ain't provided nothing. I ain't did. I didn't send myself here. I ain't did jack. God did it all. Yeah. And we got to get to the point where God did it all. Yeah. No longer I, but Christ, Christ that, that liveth on the inside, liveth in me. I can't take credit for this. Them blessing me with a man of God. Huh. This appreciation still. Amen. He said, Rick, I got the right one for you to give you that right word that you need. <laughs> How you need it. That right word is going to hit that spot, a word that you've never heard before. Thank you, God. Something that's going to touch that deep spot and say, piercing the marrow. Come yes. on. The deepest, utter yes. spots. 
we keep getting this surface word from churches. Name it and claim it. Name it and claim it. Name it and claim it. Come on now. Come on. You got to go do something. Even when they crossed the Red Sea, they was in that wilderness. Yes. They had to trust God for provision every day. Amen. He said, I got to make them uh, 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 Come on, faithful man. over few yes, before I can make them rulers over many. That's yeah. all right. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. He said, I got to show them they got to be thankful for the manna first yes. before I can take them to that promise. Come yes. on. We got to be thankful, thankful for the baloney before we can get to the steak. Yes. yes. We got to be thankful for the Hyundai before we pull up in the Bentley. Come on now. I'm pulling up in the Bentley. Yeah. We do have a Hyundai, and we thank God for that Hyundai. <laughs> oh, but that Hyundai is Hyundai, whatever. <laughs> it's out of here. Because we, I, I appreciate it, God. Thank you, I understand. Yeah. And I'm ready to keep moving. Yes. I'm ready to go from glory to glory. Yes. I'm ready to go from face yes. to face. Yes. I'm not afraid anymore. Yes. I'm ready to move forward with boldness. With power, yeah. with courage, yeah. he told Joshua, "Be of good courage." Yes, that means moving forward no matter what you see in front of your face. Just knowing that he said, "Do it." Yes. We keep wanting an explanation. <laughs> we want to try to figure it out. Yes. Come on, y'all. Hallelujah. God, thoughts is way above us. We need to catch up to His thoughts. Yes. <laughs> We so busy in our own thoughts. He's trying to get us on his thoughts. Yeah. My thought for you to prosper yeah. and be blessed yes. and be wealthy. Yes. That's what his that's what's on God's mind when he created us. Uh-huh. Wealth. He didn't create us to be in poverty. That's right. He didn't create us to go through. That's right. It's the enemy that came in in the garden. Yeah. And we've been suffering ever since. Yeah. Come on. But we under new covenant, Jesus Christ. Yes. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. See, first in the Old Testament, God said, if you will, now in the new covenant, God said, okay, I will. <laughs> See, you ain't got to worry about you in this time. You ain't got to worry about your failures or your mistakes or your shortcomings. God said, just come to me and I'll take it over. Come on now, amen. <laughs> he said, just believe on me and I'll take it from there. Yes. You know how you get the keys to the valet? They take the car from there. Uh -huh. God said, give me the keys and I'll take it from there. Thank you, God. All you got to do is come up here and say, Lord, I confess. Yeah. I'm being baptized. I confess you as my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I believe that you died on the cross for my sins. Yes. And then believe it, though. Yes. Don't just say it and go back and then think the way. Believe that you're now new. Yes. That all things, old things have passed away. Behold. All things. Behold. Yes. They say, oh, watch out now. Oh, check this out, y'all. Okay. Oh, behold. Uh, all things are new. Yes. I don't care what you did yesterday. Come on now. I don't care. Amen. Our mind can't fathom oh. deliverance. Oh, God. It can't fathom a clean slate. Oh. We can't. We holding ourselves in bondage. Yes. And God said, did you know how you've been free since when I died 2,000 years ago? Oh, yes, God. You was free then. Come on. You're free now if you accept and believe. You're free because of what's on the inside of you. Not because of you, but because of Jesus Christ on the inside of you. That's how you're able to do all things. And see, you need to be at a place and have a man or woman of God that's preaching that to you. Yes. But that's not only preaching it, but it's living it. Yes. yes. We can preach a good word, but can we live that word? Amen. I done heard the greatest of preachers, but are they living that word? Mm -hmm. I don't hear a lot of testimonies in them 10,000 member church. <laughs> Amen. I don't hear a lot of testimonies in the mega churches. Yeah, they done bought this and that. The pastor got stuff. Yeah. He didn't bought a jet. But I want to see that homeless guy come in there and get a jet. I want that to be on TV. Yeah. When the homeless guy come in who was lame, who came in like this and walked out like this. All right. Who came in gone in the mind and had all his mind. A sound mind. That's what I want to see at these churches. Amen. That's what you're going to find here at God's Nation. Amen. 15. Oh, uh, 515 University Parkway. Amen. Healing and deliverance all day, every day. Yes, God. Praising the name of God. 
Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. You better come on. That's right. Come on and get what I got. Yeah. Come on, don't don't tippy toe with it. Jump all in. Amen. Don't play around with it. Come on and get all in. Get all this good loving and blessing from God. Amen. <sighs> well, that was none of the message I had wrote down. <laughs> but glory to God. Yes. He had me going through so much this week. I was so busy. He said, Rick, I'm going to make it so you could just depend on me. Yes. I don't want you to think about the words you're going to say. Come on now. I want you to trust me all the way. Amen. Because no the Bible said, don't worry about what you shall say because the Holy Spirit will give you utterance. utterance. That's the word. That's the word. Yes. And before I close, educated people. We preach education, not just to go to school, but Prophet has brought something to my mind. We was in discipleship about Daniel and the Hebrew boys. They were chosen because they were better than everybody. They were educated. They were fairer. Yes. Come on now. They had wisdom. They had something to offer. So we need to do what we need to do. We need to start getting our education, y'all. Amen. We're praying and asking God for a job, but we won't even go get the training. <laughs> Come on, y'all. We don't even know how to read and write. They got so many programs now. Yes, God. You can do everything online. Yeah, on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Amen. You can learn how to do anything on YouTube. Yes. I done fixed my dryer, car. <laughs> my daughter played piano on YouTube. <laughs> I'm telling you. Hair. Anything you want to learn. Uh -huh. It's free. Yes. We don't even take advantage of the opportunities that God even give us. Thank you, yes. They had to go. They, they, the promised land was for them. But they still had to go and get it. That's right. They didn't just walk, walk so near. Uh. No, they said, the age said that we appear as grasshoppers in them. So it was a rough situation. They, they look as giants. We look little. We only had two that can see past that. Joshua and Caleb. Yes. Those are the only two of that group that could that made it. Because they could see past the situation. Amen. Look, y'all. You just got to know that it's over there. Yes. You got to believe the word of God. That he said it's there and it's there. Yes. That you don't have to see it. They spoke no Amen. more signs. You just got to believe. That's right. You just got to jump all in. Yes. No matter what. No matter what. And it's going to get rough. Yes. But you got to keep moving. Yes. You got to keep praying. Yes. You got to keep trusting. Yes. It ain't doing nothing but building heavyweight Christians. Come on now. Not weak and timid. Yes. We're going to be bodybuilding Christians. Yes. On steroids. Christians on steroids. <laughs> in the faith. Yes. Come on, if we keep working that faith muscle, muscle is just going to get bigger and stronger. And that's how we're going to show the world who we serve. Yes. Praise God. Let's give God a hand clap. Amen. Oh, y'all, let's appreciate God. Because if we appreciate the man of God, then we definitely appreciate God for sending the man of God. We thank God that being under this word allow me to even preach to you today. Yes. Being under this anointing that it rubbed off on me. Yes. And I'm anointed and appointed. Yes. That I got my double that they talked about. I got my triple. Yes. That I'm living in the year of extension. Yes. Extension. 15. Yes. New direction. Yes. That's what I'm living in. Now yeah, I was going that way. I was going there, but I went, but God takes me. I'm still going there. But I'm going a whole nother route. Yes. God gave me a detour and said, wait a minute. No, you got a bigger blessing. Let me take you through a little bit more. Yes. So you can get a lot more from me. Yes. Praise God. Up in there, up in there. Oh, this man is definitely changed. Yeah. I thank God for that. I was looking forward to today. 
because the Bible says give honor what honor is due. Amen. And I'm excited to give honor to a great man of God. Amen. A great man of God. Can we give him a round of applause? A great man of God. I thank God for a leader, like we said, that leads by example. He practices what he preaches. I thank God for a man of God that's accessible. We can yeah. reach him anytime we need. We don't have to make an appointment and wait for two months for him to get back to us. Yeah. He's always there to give an encouraging word, to give yeah. a hug, to give a smile, to see, Kiki, how you doing? You know, I thank God for that because yeah. we need that. Yeah. We need right. to feel that. We need to feel like our pastors truly care about us and they're not just there for us to serve them. But he's there to serve us as well. So I thank God for him. I thank God for his wife yeah. because you need a good wife. You need a good wife. Because oftentimes you get drained. You give so much of yourself. You pour out so much of yourself. And you drain. So you need your wife there to pray for you, to encourage you, to build you back up. So we thank God for the first lady of the house as well. Praise God. So we just want to present a gift to our dear apostle. Come forward. So we just have a little plaque here. I'll read it. It says, Happy 16th Pastoral Anniversary, Apostle Darren Johnson. A great leader has qualities that are undeniable to man. He has the confidence, compassion, and integrity to help others stand. Yeah. He leads not only with his words, but always in his deeds. Yeah. He's there to guide his flock as a good shepherd meets the need. Great love and wisdom he holds in his heart, preaching and teaching so we never miss a divine part. Sacrificing much of himself so that God's will will be done, helping us to understand that Christ, with Christ everything has already been won. Proactive in ministry to make sure the promise is fulfilled, never forsaking a moment to fulfill God's will. Bold in his word, yet humble as well, anointed by God so that his glory prevails. Always there to give an encouraging word, hug or smile. What an awesome shepherd God's nation has found. Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations, we love you. You did this for me, or I appreciate you being in my life. Please feel free to come forward. We ask that you limit it to one minute, please. Thank you. Amen. Dear Apostle, happy 16th anniversary. Thank you for this. Thank you for giving me a great, awesome, and amazing words. I have learned a lot from you. You are a very amazing apostle. God has gave you an awesome gift. This is a gift from me. I thank you and I hope you are thanking me for this gift. God is always watching you and he is a he is very proud of you. You are the most amazing apostle. Congratulations. Aww. Happy 16th anniversary. Thank you for all you've done on this church and for all the work you've done with the children, family, and all everybody you help. Thank you for giving me the best Sundays in the world. You're the best apostle I ever had. Thank you. Love, Miracle. being preacher, right, happy 16th anniversary for being preacher, Apostle Darren Johnson, and welcome to New Blessing. Aww. Dear Apostle, thank you for giving me a word every time we go to church, and you are the best and sweetest person in the world. Aww. And I know next time we go to church, we'll see that beautiful face of yours preaching the world around. Love you, your friend, Wallace Evans. Happy 
16th anniversary apostle. Thank you for giving awesome words. Although some are for me, I still find them useful for later on in life. Happy anniversary. It's like turning 16 again from Deontay QR. Aww. Amen. Feel free, anyone else would like to come up and say something to our dear apostle, feel free to do so at this time. Hello, Apostle, and to all the saints in this church. I can only say humbly, Vivian Covington, that I love this young man. I love his wife. You all are blessed. You don't know the vision. I came here the other day, and I was so amazed at what he's done and where God has brought him. Amen. I was so amazed at what he's doing in his life. This man and his wife has come to my home many times. They've encouraged me. They pray for me. He apostle always, every once in a while, I get a text. How are you doing, man? How are you doing? We're praying for you. I love you. I've been knowing her since she was a little girl. And I thank God for what he's done in their life. And I'm telling you, there's not enough that I can say about this beautiful couple. And I'm so proud of him, of what he's become. And God's got big plans for both of them. She's brilliant. Dr. Johnson, she is brilliant. And he is blessed to have her. Oh, but they say when God finds a man, find a wife, he finds a good thing. And in all thy ways, acknowledge God, and he will direct thy path. I mean, I can't say enough, as I said. It's tears in my eyes to see children grow up and become this. Amen. And that young man that spoke today, God bless you, Ricky. Yeah. You were amazing. You were amazing. And you guys, please, honor this man. Honor this woman. Continue to be with them. Follow them. They do have a prize package for you. Amen. And God has had their anointed on him. I just, I get chills thinking about what he's doing and where he's going to be. Each one of you are so blessed to have him as your apostle. God bless you. Congratulations. I want to tell you, this is the mayor of University Park. Amen. And we thank God for the mayor coming through. Amen. 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 God bless you, man. God bless you, Tanya. Yeah, my cousin, my You're taking me through so much. Oh. You get there for me so much. I'm almost speechless. I'm almost speechless. But I love you guys. I love what you're doing with me. Amen. I love what you're doing with this church. Amen. And as God's my witness, I'm going to try to do more than what I've been doing in church. Not only for you, for God, and for myself. Amen. And for my Amen. 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 I love you. I love you. Amen. I, I, I can just, oh my. I'll never forget that Wednesday night, my grandson came to me. He said, Grandpa, you want to go to Bible study with me? Huh. I was so tired. I didn't want to do anything but just lay down and go to sleep. So I said, well, what time is Bible study, Curtis? <laughs> he said, 7 o'clock. I said, well, what time is it now? He said, 6.38. I just dropped my head. But as I sat down on the bed, I heard the Lord say, go. Mm. Go not only for yourself, but go for your grandson so he can see an example. Amen. And when I walked in and I saw this young whippersnapper standing up here, I said, oh, well, what? Oh, come on. Now you got to be kidding me. But when I heard the word Amen. come out of his mouth That's right. That's right. and how he accepted me for who I was Amen. and embraced me for who I am Amen. and his lovely wife, yes. oh my gosh, yes. the anointing of God yes. is on these two. Yes. And, 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 and I, I got to tell you, I have never in 56 years of my life met two people more genuine than me. Yes. Yes. And I give God praise the way he allows the Lord to use him. Amen. And the way she allows the Lord to use her. Yes. Yes. And they have been tremendously kind to me and my family. Amen. And I just thank God for the both of you. I, you, I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. Oh, thank you, God. Amen.
Thank you, God. Hello. Um, I just wanted to thank Paul for being wonderful. Um, I come and go, <laughs> as we see, but Apostle and Prophetess are always there. And um, they've always got my back. And he calls me every day, <laughs> asks me where I'm at. And um, it's been like three weeks since I've been here, and then I came today. And um, it really makes you see. Um, Pastor Rick did a great job today. Amen. Um, it makes me want to do more. Amen. And it makes me. Um, Prophet has said to ask God what you wanted for today. Yeah. And I said, I want a forgiving heart. Yes. A sound mind. And, and, and to stop being up in my feelings. You know how Caucasian people are. They're always in our feelings. <laughs> so I wanted to get out of yes. them. And I stood up there, and God has spoke to me more today. And not that it was because you weren't teaching, but because um, Prophet has told us to open up our minds and to get ourselves ready, and I prepared myself. And without these people, I, I wouldn't be who I am. Amen. And um, I've been in every single church you could think of, every religion you could think of. And the only church and people that I've wanted is this apostle and his wife. Amen. And I'm, I'm very hard to get a hold of, like to grasp. And they got me. And I love them very much. Aww. And I don't know, um, I'm sad to think that we're going to get so big that we won't have them all the time. But um, I know that they're going to get that big because of who they are. Amen. And I love you guys very much. I just want to say a quick poem. Roses are red, violets are sweet. Happy anniversary, Apostle Dan and Johnson, for me, from the church to the you have been preaching for 16 years, and to God be the glory. He is very proud. Please, A.K., please, proud of thee. Amen. 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 I want to thank you, dear Apostle, Apostle Darren, for what you have done for my family, hmm. through the help of Almighty God. Thank you, God. And especially my grandson and my daughter. He has really worked through you <laughs> to get to them. Amen. And my daughter and my the rest of them. Thank you so much. Amen. <laughs> Amen. My apostle, my son. I'm so blessed that you were put in our lives through our daughter, Tanya. I love you like I love Kamala, <laughs> William, Rob, and Jeff. Oh. Truly, there's nothing I wouldn't do for you with this power. You are truly a man of God that's knowledgeable, has a heart of gold, and an attitude so welcoming and pleasing. Thank you for your wonderful teaching and preaching. I love how you break things down for a clear understanding and depth, depthness. I've learned so much more about the Bible I didn't know from you. Congrats on your 16th year of preaching and teaching, and may you continue to teach and spread the goodness of our Father throughout the nations. Love, hey you, that's what you call me. <laughs> Amen. The only thing that I can say is ditto. But I want everybody to know he's mine because I'm the mama. Okay. Now I'm going to say what I have to say. Amen. <laughs> it is a blessing to have you into our family. Not just the church family. I mean my personal family. I helped raise this little girl. She had a lot of headaches. She gave her uncle, her cousin, a lot of headaches. Amen. But because she grew up to be who she is today, thank God that she found a young man that was able to learn and live 
and be with her. Amen. Thank you. Amen. I just want to say thank you, Apostle, for believing me. And thank you, Papa Sian, for believing in me, too, because when I didn't believe in myself, oh, like when I felt like nobody was there for me, you two was there for me. So I thank you guys for that. And I also want to say this, and then I'll sit down. It's like when I was going to other churches and stuff, like, I mean, when I was going to other churches, it's like I believed in God, but it's like when I came here, it's like I believe in now I believe in God more than what I used to. Amen. So I give God glory for that. Amen. Is there anyone else who would like to say anything? No. Well, we thank God for our apostle. We actually have someone else. Come on down. Amen. Bless you, young man. Hallelujah. Um, I, though I did just join this church, I've been here for a couple of weeks, and I've heard everything that you guys have been saying, and it's really gotten to me. And I want to say thank you for doing what you're doing. And also, since you're going on your 16th year, I wish I had been here for all those other years before this. Aww. Thank God for our true man of God. Yes. The shepherd of our house. We truly thank God for him. We see that he is a beautiful person. He's yes. out in the natural and the spirit. We thank God for him cultivating the gifts in us. And at this time, I'll turn it over to him. Hallelujah. Amen. Listen, stand up all over the room. God bless everybody in this place this morning. Amen. Amen. To all of you all, I want to thank you. Uh, 